Everyone, this is a quick guide to the masquerade uh, option when you talk with Brent and we'll show you kind of how to uh, solve this quest. So we can choose this option uh, when you talk with Brent and finish the dialogue. Well, it's more like a monologue. And uh, after that, now we will give you a mask uh, after you finish talking with him. You need to wear it and we need another item to wear. I'm going to show you. So to get the clothing items, I don't know if you need just the chest or the legs, both of them are there. Or you already own them maybe if you got them somewhere else. We need to go to the Noble Quarter, the building that you see here, this one. All right, there we're going to go. This is uh, the building is a pretty big building. We saw it on a map. I just got from the side. And basically we need to go to the second floor where there are different rooms and... Uh, Two of them will have the items that we need. So again, go into the second floor and you're going to be a different room. So just uh, visit the room and grab the item. So you can pick up uh, both of them. By the way, I don't remember. Uh, I just wore the first part, the chest part. But just take both of them and wear them. Uh, I might be we uh, wearing them. I don't remember. So just take two of them, both the tunic and the legs. And you can just check where the uh, chest and heaven. see if it works for you. If, if you not, uh, just wear both of them. Like Alright, just make sure again the stolen throne is selected in your quest. And then we need to go to the castle. Before that, make sure you wear uh, the clothing items that we just got, including the mask. Equip it. It seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you were to meet the one who would falsely claim the title. It would seem we either need to visit the palace. Pawns aren't permitted entry to the palace, but I would see you to the entrance if I may. Now if you have the pawn awarded did the quest with another master, uh, it will lead you. You can just press go. And if not, you can just follow this and go to the castle. It's very close. Just need to climb the stairs up. And you're going to uh, find the entrance. We have arrived. Yeah, you can already see it marked on the map, uh, so just go there and keep in mind that the feast might not already be in the same night you're actually visiting. You need to talk with the guard and he will tell you if it's actually active. I regret to inform you that there is no masquerade scheduled for today. So again, if he tells you that the event is not scheduled for this night, you need just to pass time or go to the, you know, just lining in, rest and go in the other night. So again, it came the second time, the night after. I must ask you to leave this place at once. And uh, it was actually active now when I can get inside. If you get inside, there's not many people there. It's not active. I must ask you to comport yourself with the utmost civility while you are within the masquerade hall. Now, basically, we uh, are interacting with the characters, but I realize, well, there's uh, nobody is actually there that triggers anything. And basically you soon understand that talking with all the NPCs there won't trigger anything to continue the quest. So what we need to do is head on to the back side uh, of the place inside again the event itself. And if you go to the back side, uh, we need to find basically a secret door, which I found basically by mistake. You're going to see in a moment. So basically you can get stuff there, but I'm going to show you uh, where the door is located. So basically, again, uh, this is a small place, but you can see this is kind of by mistake. I was close to him, but you can actually see the door there. It's kind of a niche. You can actually see it. And once you get this kind of a secret door in the back, uh, we just need to follow outside. There's going to be a path there. And again, just one back to the back and you're going to see this niche. It's a very, very small area. Go through the door and take right and follow the path. Soon enough, you're going to have a cutscene once you get through this uh Red curtains. Basically, there's going to be this lady that will save you from being detected. She went through a glimpse for a hole, when you can find again more about the quest uh, progression, and this will progress your quest, of course. And that's it. From that point on, you just need to get outside uh, and um, talk with uh, Brent again and tell you what you find. And that's it. That's how you solve it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck. Have fun with the game. See you on the next one. Cheers.